Hello and welcome back to Bosco's Toy Box where I am back with more toy collectibles and this time is to show you even more of the vintage Lennard uh, core elite figures that I have and actually the ones that I will be showing you are ones that I just recently purchased on eBay because I had to purchase uh, some replacement parts uh, for some of like the arms and uh, I also got some backpacks and I also got some GI Joe's which I'll show you uh, near the end of this video too. So basically I'm just going to show you what I got uh, on eBay. But uh, the first two figures I'm going to show you because they are the same and uh, these are uh, core elite uh, vintage, I'm sorry, vintage core figures. And they are known as cybors, and that's C Y B O R, almost like cyborg, but cybor. And pretty much, this is what would be considered a stormtrooper, I guess. Uh, even though I don't think that they um, that there's really anything that the core uh especially for the bad guys that they had for like uh numerous uh like uh troops and the very unusual thing about this uh actually let me get this set up right the one on the right i'm gonna put here is actually intact he's brand new uh he has all of his uh he has both of his thumbs but uh, the guy on the left here, um, I bought him broken, and he was uh, I, he was really cheap, so that's why I bought him. And then I can always fix him in the long run. But still, he's actually just good for a troop building. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'll set the one that's good uh, off to the side here. And if I can bring in my light, maybe just a little bit better so you can kind of see here. So, as you can see, uh, the, the very unusual thing about this uh, figure is that he has green skin. And actually, it goes all the way to like the back of his neck uh, or all the way down to his neck. And he's kind of got some kind of black sunglasses or like some kind of goggles of some sort. So, it makes him very unusual. And I was actually kind of reading up on... This particular figure and they were saying the reason for the green skin is that they were trying to get a some type of likeness of a ski mask and uh w which is kind of very unusual but uh i don't know i i'm just liking it for the for the fact that it's got green skin and that he would be some type of stormtrooper some type of um big army that the bad guys are using to go after uh, the good core uh, figures. Uh, as far as the outfit is concerned, it's it, he almost looks like he's a, a cow. I mean, he, he just has like spotted uh, uniform, like the spotted helmet. He's got the spotted, uh, basically the whole nine yards of a spotted uniform. He's got some kind of uh, unusual like... Um, some kind of chest uh chest and like uh because like it goes at the top here so like some kind of chest plating and it actually kind of goes around uh his uh arm there on one of them and almost like it's just not i mean it's pretty much plain as far as the uniform goes and there's like not much detailing there's like hardly any weapons on him except he's kind of got these uh if i can see it off camera i don't even know what they're supposed to be but he's kind of got these very unusual things on the back of his uh boots there uh he actually now i actually bought one of the backpacks that goes to him and i'm actually going to put it on the good one here but just to show you what it looks like and let's see if i can get the light to show you right there. It's kind of a simple backpack. Um, I think it would go down that way because it looks like it's some kind of a rocket. 
with the two uh, things that are sticking out at the bottom here. So maybe it's some kind of rocket pack. Uh, it would actually be kind of interesting, uh, like if it was some kind of rocket pack where he was like actually flying around. See, because that actually makes him pretty cool that these troops are just like flying through the air, which makes it very interesting because I kind of like that, uh, knowing that. And, you know, you can pretend anything that you want when you're uh, playing through toys, your action figures. But he actually does look pretty cool with the backpack, and uh, I don't have the gun. But um, just a very cool looking figure. It's something that um, is actually a very nice addition to the vintage core line, or actually just uh, the core line in general. So those are the two uh, cyborgs. And the next figure that I got, I bought him broken, which he'll be easy to fix once I get uh, a replacement hand. But this vintage uh, <clears throat> core figure is Whipsaw. And actually, I think it'd be better if I set these guys off to the side. So maybe the light, and I'm hoping the light, because I'm using like some kind of studio light here. Even though that I got uh, two lights going uh, filming in my living room here, but uh, this guy is whipsaw and As you can see he looks like he's some kind of drill sergeant because he's got the drill sergeant hat and He's got some kind of face paint or like little markings underneath his eyes there and he's got a gun holster and It looks like he's got some type of insignia there uh, for like stars and stripes type of thing and let's see what he's got on his back here. It looks like he's just kind of got a simple belt with a couple of pouches there. And he's got his gun holster on the side there. And uh, kind of, I mean, very simple looking. And uh, let's see if we can just bring that in just a little bit just to show you. I mean, just a little bit of a... Um, Drill sergeant look to him. So, kind of cool. Uh, I actually kind of like this guy. Just, uh, he could uh, keep the uh, the new recruits in line, the new uh, core members that they get, and he can uh, tell them what to do. Uh, just somebody that, not so much a leader, but he's just going to uh, keep people in line. So, that is Whipsaw. Okay, so I'm going to show you one other vintage figure, and then I'm going to show you the two uh, G.I. Joes that I got within this uh, eBay haul. Okay, so the last vintage uh, core figure, which I really like to look at this guy. Uh, he is from 1990, and he is part of the Toxic Waster uh, line, I guess. Uh, I think there were a few of the Toxic Wasters. And he, this is version number three. And um, he is missing a helmet. And I actually think he's missing like some kind of, uh, not like a spray gun, but it's, it's like a gun and nozzle that goes into the backpack. And I actually have his backpack. And I really love the look of this guy because he just has that, evil menacing look to him uh, especially with the mustache kind of going a little goatee and even his eyebrows because he's kind of got like that little evil uh, henchman kind of look and then like the back of his head so just with the haircut he just looks like he's up to no good uh, he's Got the little uh, gray stripes with the white uniform and then some kind of, uh, well, he's got the uh, orange gloves, but then he's got like an orange um, straps, like for a, like, you know, for like a backpack or to, to be part of the uh, backpack that he actually, or the, um, he wears like canisters, which I'm going to show you here in a little bit, but uh, he's got a couple pouches. Like that one pouch that's right there. 
and I think he's got a pouch right here. So, uh, again, no guns that are actually um, on his person, like no gun holsters or just no uh, holsters for that for that fact. But really great look to him. And uh, I would definitely put him, even if he wasn't part of the bad guy line, I would definitely put him within the bad guys just because he looks like he'd be spraying toxic waste everywhere. So his backpack, or actually I should stop saying backpack because it's like these canisters and then where that hole is, is where the uh, tubing goes that attaches to the gun and then he's just spraying toxic waste everywhere. Not much detailing on this. Uh, like these round parts here would be like where the, um, you can like probably see how much of the, uh, is like left of the canisters. Like, you know, it has like the little dials and everything, but uh, pretty simple. And then I'll show you what it looks like on him. Okay. So you can get an idea of what he looks like, uh, which I'll be getting his, uh, his gun and nozzle are pretty easy to get on eBay. And uh, uh, he also has a helmet too. So the helmet um, covers his whole entire face because of course he's uh, handling toxic waste. And uh, if I can, he's kind of loose. He might need his um, O-ring replaced because it looks like the O-ring may not be holding the uh, limbs in place. Okay, but there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the two G.I. Joe figures that I bought uh, along with uh, these core figures. So just really quickly, I will show you uh, this G.I. Joe figure. His name is Iceberg, and this is actually version 2 because in a previous video, I think I briefly showed you uh, Iceberg version 1 that I was putting together. And this one I bought broken because he was cheap. And this is very easy to replace because I know I can get this uh, crotch part. His crotch part is broken. What it's supposed to look like is there's supposed to be a plastic piece that is actually kind of coming down. It's still open if that plastic piece was there because the plastic piece doesn't go all the way up and around to his backside. It's just a little bit of a plastic piece that's broken. But other than that, he is completely intact. And he is an awesome figure. Excuse me. Even though I prefer Iceberg uh, version 1. But I still like this guy just because he's like really decked out. As you can see, he's kind of got some grenades. He's got the bullet uh, ammo going both uh, bo going both across his chest there and he even has some pouches I might that might be for uh, some kind of snow survival and uh, just really good looking guy and uh, I kind of like the Arctic guy so it's just very cool so that is iceberg version number two and then the last GI Joe that I bought which I probably should have brought, I, I probably should have, because um, this guy comes with a dog, and I had the dog in the leash, but, because uh, they, they're actually called Mutt and Junkyard, and this is actually Mutt, the guy, and Junkyard is the uh, the dog, but I bought this guy broken as well, he, he's very easy to replace, because I know I can get these, uh, both of these arms replaced very easy. But uh, another great guy, especially when uh, you can pair him with the dog and the leash. And um, he, I actually bought a, um, it's like this mask that goes ar like around his, uh, it's like a ventilator or like some kind of uh, breathable, like a breathable mask. So I bought that along with this set and I will show you, I, let's see how that goes on. It's kind of weird because I'm going to, let me show you what it looks like off of him. Let's see if I can get this. 
So it's this big strappy thing, almost like a belt that goes around him. And it's supposed to go around his tiny little face. So if I have this going the right way, even though that this is adjustable, it just looks kind of weird. So that's what it's supposed to look like. So it's covering his face. There you go. Okay. But uh, I did say he's broken. So both of his arms are broke. So he's got this big gloved hand. <clears throat> Excuse me. Need a drink of water there. He does have a big gloved uh, black hand. This big black uh, gloved hand. And his digits here are snapped off. But again, can be replaced. And then his thumb is missing off this hand. And again, very easy to replace. But he is a cool looking guy. Uh, like I said, especially with his dog. And uh, I just love the look of this guy. And uh, if I can actually back him up, that way the camera will see him just a little bit better. But uh, very cool. I uh, really love that guy. And um, that is it. But there's one other thing. Right before I uh, leave you today with this episode, which I really uh, do hope that you enjoyed, is that with the... Uh, last Lennar video that I did with the brand new action figures that are coming out I did um, video number two and I had told you that uh, this guy here once I get him out of this plastic here I told you that this guy does not have a removable mask and he actually does that mask that <clears throat> Uh, I think it's part of his nanotechnology, but uh, that nanotechnology uh, ventilator mask, whatever, it comes off. So I will show it to you. So there we go. So now we actually get to see what his face looks like. Very, very awesome that this mask comes off. So just a really great G.I. Joe feel with that. And then I will show this to you that that's what the mask looks like off so very cool and let's just see if he he is standing up but there we go okay so he can actually now he can fight the trooper or make friends with him whatever you want to do but that is so cool that uh one of my uh friends told me that the mask comes off. So uh, kudos to Leonard for uh, making that happen, to actually designing it that the mask comes off. So I hope you enjoyed the look at uh, these uh, vintage Leonard figures. And I've got another brand new action figure pack to show you. And I actually have more vintage figures to show you. So uh, keep playing, keep collecting, and uh, keep on watching.